Hello. Um, so I'm going to uh, just do a brief video for those that have been inquiring on this uh, this uh, Submariner. This is a uh, 16610. A few have inquired on, on me selling it. Uh, I, I said I would uh, sell it for the right price. It is mint. It's like new or new old stock, if you want to call it that. But it's been worn probably half a dozen or a dozen times around the house. It's 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 there's no scratches on it. It's like brand new and it keeps perfect time. And here's all the goodies that came with it when I bought it in 2010. Now I'm calling it a 2008 based on the clasp code. Uh, the code designates it as a 2008, but these were referred to as random serial numbers. These were the last of the run with the re engraving. If, uh, uh, you know, it could be any of in, any of those three years because Rolex didn't really give or never really does give production times or dates. Uh, it's mostly left up, us, up to us to figure out or come to a conclusion of when it was manufactured. So I'm, I'm saying it's a 2008, but it could even be a 2009. But from what I recall, the 2009s were V serial numbers. The, this is an M serial number. So, uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine. But again, they're random uh, transitional models. And like I said, I don't, I'm not an active seller. You won't see me on any of the, um, you know, eBay or Chrono 24. But, uh, and, I, and I'm in no rush to sell it. I have no need to sell it. What I would do is if it did sell, I would replace it with an older like early nineties one with the case holes. And it's just, it's individual preference. I, I bought this new as my first because I was a little skeptical about buying pre-owned, but years later, as I've gotten more educated and, uh, you know, just my desires changed. I do like vintage. I like full sixties and seventies and eighties vintage, but I also like the nineties uh, with the, with the tritium dials. This has got the Luminova dial. So there's a trade-off. There's no, it's the loom's almost dead. You can't see it unless maybe at night, you know, after your eyes adjust to older tritium. But this is going to give you all the, the, the modern features of a 16610 or a new sub. And if anybody has any more questions, go ahead and ask. But there's all the goodies. It's everything that I got with it when I bought it back in 2010. It's, and I made sure, I mean, it's even got the, uh, the the bezel ring uh, protector, I think, for shipping, which you don't really see too often. But this is everything, and I I made sure I got everything with it. Of course, being you know, like most of us, we want to get everything with the purchase. So, any questions? Let me know. I am accepting offers for the right price. I will let it go. I do expect the buyer to pay uh, shipping and insurance because I want to protect both our ends. I don't expect any problems. I've bought and. Uh, I've purchased several Rolexes and people have shipped them through priority mail with no insurance, which scares me a little bit, but there's never been a problem. So, uh, you know, you just don't know. I, I just, I, for me, just for peace of mind for both parties, I just want to make sure there's insurance. So uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, I will accept a reasonable market offer. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not in a, a position where I need to sell it or want to sell it. Uh, I, you know, if I was going to buy another one, I already, I already own a 14060 early 90s with the drilled lug holes, and I kind of always end up pulling that one out. So it's just my preference. If you like the clean, uh, no-holes case, then you're, you're going to really love this one. It keeps perfect time, and it's got all the goodies. And to some people who are collectors or or even get, you know with their intentions of wearing it, they want to get something like this, a full set. Uh, that's why I keep it because I, I I love boxes. I love the green boxes. I love the manuals. It's got all the you know the the, the original booklet that came with it. Uh, you know the the warranty holder, the the factory service manual. This is you know been a nostalgia because they're kind of time capsules. They they change every five years to reflect the newer change or so many year every often uh, change. Uh, to reflect changes in the models. But um, yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, contact me if you're interested. Okay, thanks.